Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the uh, Legend of the Dragoon walkthrough. Uh, we are we are stranded. We are we are stuck. We are crashed. We have crashed, or the Phantom Ship has crashed into us. <laughs> um, strongly recommend buying the glaive. I believe that's called. Uh, new weapon for Albert. Uh, better than what he's got. Go ahead and grab it. Uh, the beast. So the beast fang for Hashel and the warrior dress. Already have both of those. So I did not need to buy either of those. Um, you can rest here. You can shop. You can save. <clears throat> Pretty decent area to uh to level in now this chest i have to say um we're gonna get everything out of here there's it's basically five rewards and you have to arrange these numbers and um you get a certain amount of attempts depending on how many uh successful attempts you've made i guess uh, or not, not, a, not successful attempts, but based on how many rewards you were actually successfully able to get. So what I mean is, um, and here I'm abusing save states like I always do, uh, which is going to make this just stupidly easy for me. Um, I don't know if you can, um, save your game and then go interact with the chest and make some guesses and then reload your save or not. Uh, but if you're not playing on an emulator like I am and abusing save states, I would at least try that. I should have should have tried that myself, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, uh, anyways, like I said, five, uh, five items that you can obtain. The first three are pretty lame. I believe they're just accessories. Uh, the fourth one actually, actually, I think all of the rewards are accessories now that I now that I think about it. Uh, the fourth accessory though is a talisman, and that's one of the one of I believe only two in the game that, um, as far as accessories anyway, that can prevent uh, like instant death. I guess I haven't run into anything that I don't think anyway that can uh, that can do that. Uh, so it hasn't been particularly useful yet, but. Uh, anyways, the, this talisman will be the second one. I think the first one we got in, like, uh, the Valley of the, of Corrupted Gravity, I, I think. Um, and then the last one is the Ultimate War God, which, I don't know, uh, you know, if you don't like doing, uh, these, um, 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 um additions, uh, then they're useful. And, I mean, I'll be honest, if you're, if you're not liking a, well... Uh, I don't know. It's it's tough. Um, I was gonna say if you're not you know doing a a boss fight you know and you don't need your accessory, you could just equip that and you know have all your additions uh, be successful, and that is nice. I mean honestly, it's getting to the point now where we're getting into the tougher uh, additions that are that are you know more difficult to complete. And uh, boy, I fail a lot. I don't know if it's this video or the next one. We're gonna see here, but. Um, there's been some really tough ones where I just, a lot of it is again, I, and I've, I've mentioned this in, in, uh, at least one of the earlier videos, but, um, it depends on the angle I've noticed. So like if, if the camera angle is directly behind my character, um, I have a very difficult time correctly completing, uh, additions and it gets easier, you know, the, if the, the camera angle is, uh, you know, off to basically off to like one of the sides of the character at a, and, and I mean, ideally at like a 90 degree angle, but uh, that doesn't always uh, work out that way. So, so yeah, so there's that and it's, uh, it can be tough. Okay, uh, where was I? So I, uh, I had to, I had to check into this. I didn't remember that uh, magician bogey going into that door right there. Um, but it looks like everything is, looks like everything's all right. I think we're good. 
Uh, anyways, all right. So, uh, you know, back to the back to the whole chest thing. Um, you know, I don't know. the 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 problem is that uh, unless there's some way to abuse it, uh, again, like I like I had mentioned earlier, I don't know if you can save your game. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you can save your game. Like, make a couple of attempts at the chest. And then reload that save. I, I don't know if that works, but I mean, if it doesn't, uh, it's going to be really difficult to get those, especially the final reward. Because, all right, so the way it works is I think for the first chest, or basically the first time you try it, you get like 10 attempts. And um, we are actually going to get some hints here on what the the combination is for the for the chest. Looks like we got eight more uses of Gus the Moon Dance. All right. Making our way. Uh, but anyways, so we're going to get some, we'll get some hints uh, and it, it works every single time. So basically uh, down, down in the bottom of the ship, there's this, uh, there's this light, like flashing light. And uh, when you interact with it, four ghosts pop up and the, the ghosts give you um, four numbers. Sometimes they're the same, or so, sometimes some of them are the same. Uh, sometimes uh, they're not. And it really, uh, once you get the hang of it, uh, it's pretty easy to figure out, you know, how to how to make good guesses. So, like, let's just say, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Uh, and I, I should I should add there's only there's only a combination of three uh, three numbers so um, but there's four ghosts which is what makes it a little bit tricky so anyways you'll go down there let's just say the ghosts give you the hints one two three four okay well we already know that those are those are too many numbers so one of the numbers is not used so one of the things that you can do is for instance um, do all ones so you do just you know one 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 and and there's a way also to tell if the treasure chest is going to use that number or not. It'll it'll give you a little prompt. It's like three little dots, and you'll just see them in the bottom right hand corner. <clears throat> and I'll uh, I'll point that out when we actually go to do it. But um, and here here I'm just failing over and over on these additions. This is not even particularly a difficult one. Yeah. All right. All right. Anyways. Um. So again, just say one, one, one. Okay, so let's just say it gives you the prompt. Okay, so you know one is used. And the way that those dots actually work is actually if one of the numbers, or uh, basically if one of the uh, numbers is correct and in the position that it's supposed to be in, you'll get that prompt. <clears throat> what I mean is, Okay, let's just say, you know, the first number in the three number combination is indeed one. Okay, so um, we do one, 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 just to make sure, or sorry, one, 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 I guess in this case, to make sure that one is even used at all. And obviously, because one is also happens to be the first number in our combination, we'll get the three dot prompt. Whereas... Let's just say uh, we enter zero one 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 in the um, you know bo dialog box or whatever as our combination. Well, actually, it will not give us the three dots because while we do need to use the number one, it needs to be in that first position in order for it to uh, prompt us correctly. So. Um, that's why I believe it's important, uh, at least on your first pass, to test out, you know, again, you know, in this case, it's 1111. Um, sorry, 111. I keep, I keep saying four numbers, and I shouldn't be saying four numbers. But All right, anyways, here is the flashing um, light. These are the four ghosts, so write these down. Zero. I don't know if zero is even a possible number. So, um, we'll see, but I don't think zero is ever used. Um, but here's one, uh, four and eight. Okay. So one, four, eight, zero, one, four, eight, I should say. Again, I don't know if you can actually enter in zero. Um, we'll, we'll take a look here, but 
if that is the case, uh, that that'll be nice because then we know that the the numbers that are actually useful are one, four, and eight. So then we don't have to uh, worry about uh, finding out which number to not use at all. So, anyways, what I'll end up doing is do um, again. Well, and this will be this will be dependent on whether zero is used or not. But we'll try one, 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 and then I suspect you know the the one actually is used. So we should get a prompt, and then you could try four, four, four. Same thing. You should get a prompt again if the digit four is used, and then again for the number eight. Um, if if you ever try a number though that you know and you try it in all positions and you don't get a prompt, well then you know that that number is not used at all. So that's the first way to kind of eliminate um, you know where numbers go. The second thing that you can do is um, let's just say again let's let's we'll use the digit one again uh, for an example. Let's just say we know that uh, we need to use one, but we don't know which position it is, first, second, or third. What you can do is, you know, uh, use a digit that you know is not being used. In this case, it'll be like nine, okay? You could do nine, one, nine. And if you get the prompt, well, you know that one is used and it's in the right position. If you don't get a prompt, well, then you know that the one doesn't go in the second position. And thus, then you can try it in the third position. So you could do 991 instead. And again, same thing. If you get prompted, uh, then you know that it's in the right position. If not, you know that you, you don't have it quite right. So um, anyways, we will, um, you know, we'll, we'll do some testing or we'll, uh, we'll go up to the, we'll go back to the chest and make sure that, uh, that we've got, you know, all of our numbers in the right position <clears throat> and uh, get our first reward. Again, though, you'll notice uh, oftentimes I will, um, you know, you'll see the, the, the screen kind of, I don't want to say glitch, but it'll restart back to an earlier time. And that's just, again, that'll be me using my save states. Um, and I, I just, I don't know, the, the thing with this whole uh, mini game too, is that I, I don't know if you can save your game, you know, and try a couple combinations. And then if you don't get it right, if you can reload like that's definitely the way to go about it if you're um, if you're not playing on an emulator, and and it, I I don't know maybe that resets something I don't know, I don't know if um you know I, I just don't know if you can go down talk to the ghost get your numbers, and then save your game, and then if you reload from that point I don't know if it saves them I don't know if your numbers will be the same or if it you know randomly generates new ones every time you uh, reload your save, so that's uh, that's a big question I have. Um, anyway, so if it, if it does work that way, uh, you're just, it's fine. You'll be, you know, it won't take you that long to, to get it all figured out. Um, you know, it's really just a process of elimination. You have to, you know, first make sure that you've got all the, or you, you first have to determine which digits you're even using. Um, oftentimes you'll get lucky and, uh, some of the dig digits will actually be repeated by the ghosts themselves. So like, you know, let's just say, so instead of 0, 1, 4, 8, like we got this time, let's just say we got 1, 1, 4, 8. Well, I mean, then you know all three digits right off the bat, and you don't have to go through the process of elimination of, um, you know, e determining which digit isn't used. So that speeds things up for you. Um, but anyways, all right, so let's give this a shot. <clears throat> all right, so there are three numbers. Um And we'll go click on a range. Oh, yeah, it does look like you can use 0. So... Um, so that's a problem. So we know one of these numbers isn't accurate. And there we know that 148 is not right at all. None of those digits is in the right position because um, it didn't prompt us. So here, if I want to try to determine, well, that was not smart. So that was a waste. That was there. But, I mean, to be fair, um, now we know that if, if the digit 4 is used, it's not used in uh, either of those positions. But... Um, this is a, wow, okay, I just got, I got really lucky. I just assumed zero wasn't used, and then I, <laughs> yeah, I just guessed. That was not a very good way to determine what the, um, what the combination was. Um, I mean, again, I, I guess in the long run, <laughs> in the long run, it completely worked out, but that was really guesswork. Um, 
And again, if you notice there, I, I didn't get prompts either of the, the like the times that I just so one four eight, I didn't get any numbers right. So I knew that I knew that one wasn't used in the first position. It's actually kind of maybe the, maybe I should give myself a little bit more credit here. Anyways, I knew that one, four, and eight were not in those correct positions. So because literally none of those were wrong. So that meant that the four had to be either at the start or at the end. The second combination I tried, I believe, was, you know, some some number and then four and four. Okay, well then, because I didn't get prompted again, I knew that four wasn't used in, um, or I'm sorry, I think I did four, four. I'm going to check because I'm, I'm probably confusing this now really badly. Okay, yeah, so I had to, I had to go back and take a look at that. Um, I did try four, four, eight as that second combination. And again, to be fair to myself, um, that actually did eliminate all of the other possibilities aside from, eh, I'm sorry, assuming that zero wasn't used because I didn't test whether or not to use zero. Um, but again, based on the fact that I tried four, four, eight, I knew that four wasn't used in the first position. I knew it wasn't used in the second position. Well, that leaves only one position left for the number four. And because we tried eight, um, in the first position, or sorry, in the last position, we knew that that wasn't right either. So that mean, meant that uh, eight had to be, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> eight had to be used in the first or second position. And that also meant, though, we knew one wasn't in the first position. So um, there was really only, uh, you know, well, I mean, we knew four was last. So it had to be either eight, one, four, or actually, no, we we knew that that was that was the only possible way to go from there, because again, one wasn't used in that first position. So, um, so yeah, again, I have to get. I should should have given myself at least a little bit more credit on my uh, rationale. There may have been a better way to determine the position of those um, of those numbers. I think. I think the fact that I guessed one four eight immediately, and I and we knew that none of them were correct, that actually was huge. That gave us a ton of information, um, because had one of those positions been correct, let's just say in this case, one. Okay. The problem was though, I didn't. I wouldn't have known if it was the one, the four, or the eight in the correct position. So in that case, uh, literally getting every single one of those wrong gave us way more information than had we got one of those right. So um, a fair fair amount of luck in, I mean, for one thing, the zero not being used. Uh, and then the second one was, uh, you know, I mean, basically all of my guesswork was based off of uh, not using that zero digit. So, you know, again, there was there was actually just a ton of of straight up luck based in that uh, that first success. But uh, all right. So, anyways, we are. I mean, and basically, we need to keep uh, keep doing this. We need to keep traveling down to the bottom, interacting with the light to get the new set of numbers. So, we've got two, four, five, two, four, five, and seven. Okay, so that. That's rough. So we already know that, you know, for sure one of these digits won't be used. We'll have to determine what that is. And it's going to take a lot of guesswork uh, to eliminate, you know, which uh, which one is not used. And here I just, I'm, I'm really trying to get through here without fighting too much. Um, and not that this is, I mean, this isn't a bad place to, to do some fighting and leveling. It's just... Uh, for walkthrough sake, uh, I didn't want to uh, get into a bunch of battles and fail over and over like I, <laughs> like I frankly have been doing. Man, some again, we're getting into that point now where these additions are getting a lot harder for me to do, you know, successfully. So uh, it's, uh, it's a little rough. Sometimes these are these are looking bad. Uh, I I think it was two four two four five seven. I think. Um, so anyways, the first thing that we're going to try to do is eliminate one of the digits, which means, you know, we should do two, two, two. 
Um, and that'll that'll let us know whether or not we use the the, the digit two. Uh, and then we should try four 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 five five five, you know, and, and kind of go from there. So all right, two two two, doesn't open, and we get prompted. Okay, so we know that the two was used. We don't know which position the two was in, but we know that that's used. So that's good. All right, so four four four. That'll be the second one that we try, and we get prompted again. Okay, so we know that the four is used. So let's try five, and no prompt. Okay, so now we know the five is not used. So the the combination is uh, some combination of two, four, and seven. So now we need to, okay, tr we're trying to determine where the two is at. We know it's not in the first position. Um, so at this point, yeah, now I can just, okay, two doesn't open. Okay, so we know the two is in the last position. Now, um... No, this is, not, this is not smart. I should not be doing it this way, I don't think. I, I'm actually just trying to guess. Um, it would probably be better to do like, um, to try to determine like where the four is actually at. Okay, I'm, I guess this I, this actually may end up working out too. So actually, um, now, now actually, yeah, we know that the combination has to be seven, four, two. So yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess, I guess I'm, I'm, we don't need to necessarily, um, you know, try to determine where, you know, if we know where one of the digits are. Yeah. Okay. So I should back up. When we know where specifically one of the digits are and we know the other two that are used, you just try both of the, uh, the there's only, because then there's only two other combinations. So uh, anyways, uh, now I have cut out um, my, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I cut out going all the way down to interact with the light and the ghost. I just didn't think that that was worthwhile for us to, to see. Um, and I think, you know, now I've, I, 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 I hope that I've done a good job of explaining, uh, exactly how to, uh, you know, determine your, your number set. Uh, especially that last that last treasure chest. I feel like that was probably the best you know explanation. And um, so at this point now, I I just have um, you know a couple of rewards left to get. And again, I I mean again, I don't even know what digits I'm supposed to be using here. I've already forgotten. But um, again, I'm just going to keep abusing save states though too. And uh, once we. There you go, Magic Eagle Ball. So I think that's the third reward. Um, so we've only got two left. Um, and uh, to be honest, though, so you can you can keep doing this uh, even after the fifth reward, but you only get, uh, my impression was, uh, you only get 100 gold. So not worth, you know, doing after that fifth reward. So... <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, fun minigame... Um, you know, I, I don't know. It's a little time consuming having to run in between uh, this room and the room that the ghosts are in to get, you know, your next uh, your next set of digits. But um, and if you do notice here, obviously, we're, we're really getting low on. Um, oh, wow. I don't know what happened there one more time. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, very. Uh, Again, time consuming, but it's kind of fun. Uh, I still have questions on whether or not you can just save your game, you know, after you've got those numbers from the ghosts so that you can, you know, try this over and over and not, um, you know, have to completely redo it. Because once you've lost um, or once you've guessed too many times and you failed, uh, the, the treasure chest resets and then you have to go all the way down and talk to the ghosts again to get a new set of numbers. So, um, here is, uh, we're working on the last reward. I, I believe this is, you only get two attempts and I mean, it's almost impossible to, to do this without some sort of, you know, either just straight crazy, excuse me, cr just crazy luck or, um, well, I mean, a lot of luck because, you know, let's just say you get, you know, the ghosts tell you two of the digits and, and they're, then they're the same. 
that's your best chance because then you know, you know, all three digits right away and you don't have to go through that that process. But then you just have to guess which or which is the correct order that they're in, you know, which is not always the easiest thing ever. So uh, a lot of basically what I'm saying is that there's a lot of luck involved in getting the final reward if you don't cheat essentially like I've done in some way by you know, manipulating save states or, um, again, potentially, if you're even able to do it, saving your game first and then coming in here and, you know, uh, messing around. So, um, all right. Anyways, uh, I believe here we should be getting our ultimate war god and we will be done. Nope, doesn't open. Okay. Boom. Ultimate War God. There we have it. All right. So, um, again, if you don't like using your or you don't like doing additions or um, you just kind of want to take it easy and not do additions for a while, you can absolutely equip that. I believe it gives you full SP, full damage, and it will actually count as you having used that addition for, um, you know, leveling your addition like tiers, I guess, uh, if, uh, if that's maybe that's the correct terminology. But anyways, I'm out of time. Hope the guide was helpful and hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.